Hey there, my name is Kathy. Welcome to the Junk Shack, baby. I hope you'll follow me on all of these other social media platforms. In early January, I moved out of the booth you guys have all seen if you've watched those videos um, up at Dragonfly. I moved out of this booth and into a new one. A lot of this stuff has sold. Fortunately, I was able to put that jeweler's cabinet there in the middle, and I wish it would sell, maybe soon. I will be putting out a booth refresh video coming up shortly, hopefully within the next week. In the meantime, sit back, I'm going to have a beer, and enjoy the new items I will be putting in maybe tomorrow or the next day. Hey, my name is Kathy. Welcome to the Junk Shack, baby. I haven't been around for a while. I actually took the whole month of January off, but I did not stop thrifting. So today I'm going to show you everything that I have bought probably, I guess probably over the last two or three weeks, two weeks for sure. Uh, I'm going to have a beer, actually my second, and I'll show you all my things. These things will be in my booth within the next day or two. They are priced and ready for sale. Mm. A happy Saturday. Let's start. I picked up this. I just thought this was a cute little basket. Look at that kind of fancy-ish top. The lid comes off. I kind of put them together so they don't get lost. Next. Uh, Anne of Green Gables book. This was a really good movie, and I feel like I read this book when I was younger. I'm not sure, but I picked it up. My my local thrift store has a pretty good deal on books. Good enough for me to buy and to resell. A cute little look at this little box. A little jewelry box. And it's, oh shoot, don't fall out. In very good shape. Pretty good shape, all of them. I kind of thought about painting it. Then I would have to ask more. So I'm just going to put it up there like this. Next, I bought this basket. I got a thing for, like, this is made out of wood. It's not made out of straw or the, you know, the little wicker looking pieces. And my favorite part, it has metal handles. Trying to make sure you guys see it. Anyway, I got this basket. Might have to keep these. This is a set of four woven placemats. Four of them, all in really good shape. And I love the color in that they're lined in black. I think these are super cool. They may, I don't, I don't have a price on them, so I might keep them. I really, really, really like these. And not to use as a placemat. I think I would maybe, I don't know, see if I could stitch them together away and make kind of over my window at face west over there. I think that would look cool as a little shade that hung down. Next up is this little, it's not marked, but I think it was so cheap. I want to say it was a dollar. So, yep, it was a dollar. I need to, I don't have not priced it. I kind of like this. It's very springy if you put some flowers in it, like right now, and just set it out somewhere. It'd look pretty cute. But I think you'll probably find this one for sale because I got a million of them. I bought a whole bunch of these books. I was looking, they are the um, series of unfortunate events. They're kids' books. My kids read them a long time ago, but I was looking for smaller books of the same size. And so I, I for sure was getting these hardback books and then they had these and I thought, well, I wanna do a craft with these where you paint them all, but they need to be the same size. So I bought a bunch of these and I don't think I even have three bucks, maybe, maybe four into them. This guy, uh, he's moving out of his booth up at Dragonfly and everything's a dollar and this is a little uh, like a, you hold your recipes in it. My first thought was, I'm going to paint it. Oh, and I did get this little, for a dollar, little milk glass, little tiny little thing. I'm not selling it. It's going to go in my milk glass collection. 
But I got a thing for houses and look at that, it's a house. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen these. It's a German thing. Um, big heavy tray. It's a little rusted, but it's not nothing. It's just surface rust, but that's going to be for sale up there. Brass. I've been picking up brass everywhere I find it. Magnet would not stick to it, so I kind of think it's a brass. All brass. Kind of little planter. An old, this is old. I think this is maybe 40s. Um, it's kind of wintry hat for that fashion back in those days. I have a nice heavy stone candlestick holder. You could glue a plate or something on top of it. Next we have, there's some old kid boots. I always look for the older. These are, this is from 72, I think maybe 74. But they're really cool, and there's a set of four. Got it. Oh, I almost am going to kill myself because my little pupper dog's sleeping right next to me, so I hope I don't fall. Next, I picked up the, it's kind of a filing cabinet. It has a vintage look. I'm not sure. I think it's older. I'm not sure if it is like, you know, from the 70s, but it sure kind of looks like it. I thought it was cool. I kind of thought about keeping it and putting all my files in it, but I got a place. Next, I have an old Cracker tin. Back when they made them like this. Metal. I got something else. Oh, forgot about that. A stone, I guess marble. I don't know. This thing's heavy. It'll make a great weapon. Um, it's really, really, it's a, some kind of carved stone apple. I thought it was pretty cool. So, one of my favorite pieces, look at this amber jug. I got an old lady in here. I'm not sure how I got her. Did I buy this or someone give it to me? I feel like someone might have given this to me. I'm not sure. Certainly not. But it's a, not, it's kind of, it's probably 20 years old, 25 years old. So it's a vintage uh, cake topper made out of ceramic. Pretty nice. But back to the amber pitcher. I picked this up for a pretty good price. There's no, no scratches, no nicks, no flea bites, nothing. It's in really good shape. It was at my local thrift shop. And if you are a collector of this, remember it looks good with of flowers or fake stems coming out of it, or even to make your orange juice in. Next, I picked up this bell. I believe it's a silver top. And it's, uh, it does say it's a crystal. Anyway, we got a couple people come in that like bells. I don't know if they'll like this one, but I got a pretty good deal on it. Good enough to resale. And then this, I think people are buying this wicker stuff up. This is a little hang it up on the wall. Put some plants in it. Maybe a tea towel came in coming out of it. Let's see if I can make it look like something for you. Something like that. That's a curtain, not a wall. Try a wall. But I got that. That'll be up there. Very cool copper piece. Real heavy. It's not thin like a whole bunch of them that are. And if you're a cat lover, looky at that. Now, this is a pretty cool, it was a cookie jar, obviously. There was, I did not get the lid. And I want to say that this, oh, it's right there. I need to take that off. It was $3 and then marked in half. So it was, I got this for $1.50. There's nothing else wrong with it except it's missing the lid. So I put, I, I know a lot of people like train things. It's very train. You could use it for anything, but I put some flowers. You get some cute little flowers in it. And it really does look cute. Getting to the end. This, I just picked this up. I'm probably going to keep this to take it to my, when we go to the lake, the beach at the lake. It is a complete with, you know, not cheap. Uh, it's got the plates in it. It's got knives, spoons, forks in it. 
Over here, you got your wine opener, a knife, little plastic wine glasses. This thing is loaded up salt and pepper. This little thing is loaded up, and there's a place to put your bottle. You can wear it as a backpack. I fell in love with it. I think I paid five bucks for this, and it'll be a great addition to my beach stuff that I go to the beach with. I think this will be a lot of fun there. A couple of bundles of, I paid a buck each, of just kind of, this one's the curlies. And this one, when you take the tape off, they just billow out and just make the greatest plumes. I guess that means there's two. So I picked those up. I'm probably gonna keep those. Then, I got this little fuzzy stool. I fell in love with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I probably won't resell it. I mean, I might eventually. I don't know. I'm not sure. To make a great footstool. Anyway, what did I pay for it? I think I paid maybe $7, 7 or $8. says Hobby Lobby right on it. But I thought it was cute. So this may not go for sale for a while. If I use them, if I use something for a little while, and I enjoy it and I just get sick of it or I don't want to store it. I've been storing it too long. I feel like then I got it for free because I used it. Obviously, I bought it. It was a good price and I used it. And now I used up with the money I spent on it. That was a good price. Now I can resell it. All right. I, I think, I think that's everything. Oh, wait, one more thing. Yep, hard root beer. Yummy. I picked this little guy up for my grandson. My little seven-year-old grandson. I thought he was cute. He'll love him. I had all intentions of filming me putting the items in the booth, the new items. But the store was full and I just didn't want to have people back and forth and have them to you know, stop or start the camera or anything. So this is just a quick kind of preview or view, if you're not coming out to the store, of all of the new items that I just showed you in the haul. Okie dokie. Has, it's been a while. I hope everybody is doing good. I hope you all had a great Christmas and a happy new year. And... Let's go 23. Thanks for watching. She slept through the whole thing. Didn't move a muscle. Sleepy girl. You knew I was doing this. I just said it. I've only been doing it for a minute. Okay. Don't go back. Well, not fair. Look, I got so much to do. Okay. I said it would be a while. Just get rid of me. I can't go. I'm trying. Ha, ha, ha.